All right, sounds good, Mike. Thanks. A new law has President Trump's signature on it that many say will help save lives, and a lot of them. The Childhood Cancer Star Act will include $30 million a year through 2023 for research on childhood cancer. Paul Nelson joins us here in the studio after meeting some incredibly brave young cancer survivors. And Paul, this money could affect a lot of kids and their families. Yeah, it definitely could, Chris. And about 15,000 kids are diagnosed with cancer each year in our country, including about 40 right here in northern Nevada. Experts say only 4% of federal cancer funding goes towards childhood cancer research, but many say this extra money will allow more research that will save lives. Where's Percy? Where's Charlie? Where's Thomas? Logan will turn six years old tomorrow, and he has a lot to celebrate. It's time to go now. While he seems like an average, happy little boy, he's also a survivor. He was diagnosed with high-risk stage 4 neuroblastoma when he was only two and a half years old and spent 16 months in bed. It was devastating. You know, I mean, you get the news and you never know what's, what's next. Because, I mean, it's, you never think. Oh, you know, my son's going to have cancer. Logan's been cancer free for almost two years and $30 million of funding could help thousands of other kids just like him. It just means finally someone is paying attention to how devastating childhood cancer is for these children and their families. The bill is three years in the making. Senator Dean Heller was on hand when President Trump signed the bill into law at the White House Tuesday. We're in great shape now that we have the funding mechanism that's in place and uh, be able to uh, help these young adults and be able to help all these children as we continue to fight uh, uh, this terrible disease. Heller gives a lot of credit to Johnny Hartman. The 21-year-old Spanish Springs grad is another cancer survivor who pushed for the bill's passage. He's now away at college at Cal Poly. There will be more survivors and there will be, there will be healthier survivors. The quality of life after treatment and after cancer will be improved drastically from this bill. That means a lot to all the kids like Logan, who could still face after effects of his treatment. Ten years ago, Logan wouldn't have survived. You know, and that's a big part of the STAR Act was this looking at survivorship, looking at these late-term effects. What did we do to these children as we saved them? Cancer treatment typically lasts about three years, so you could imagine the stress it puts on the patients and their families. The ultimate goal is to find a cure while finding better methods of treatment. Along with this bill, Senator Heller was also on hand for another bill signing this morning that aims to improve veterans' health care. We'll show you what that bill does coming up at 6.30. Covering the story live in the studio, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Boy, what an encouraging update there, Paul. Thank you.